Okay. Listening out for the lights. Okay. The lights are going. And it's... Lights out. And away we go for the final round of Division 2. As Liam gets a terrible start. He's already been caught by Benz. Into the lead. He's phasing through people, original. Uh, Leah, sorry. Uh, we're going to be fa look, trying to look for Benz because it's just lagging all over the gaff. Leah is somehow still in the lead. This game makes no sense. Barlow and Benz are going wheel to wheel into the first chicane in sector two. Benz a bit wide, but can he go up the inside into the hairpin? He does. He keeps that second position. Gets a little. Barlow gets a little tap from Owen here. And Leah somehow over a second clear somehow. A bit of lag on his end, but it's going to be side by side going into the first deep chicane. As Benz just gets that edge just ahead. As Owen is just behind, waiting to pounce on opportunities. We move down the grid. We have a lot of movement as Teddy's going to try and go around the outside of Icallum. Big cluster towards the back of the grid because of the, the top three in the championship. Oh, it's going to be word. all sorts of moves. Here we go. The Renault. Oh, it's very tight racing at the moment. We're going to try and go focus on position changes as I, Callum and Teddy are both up four positions. Everyone else above them staying still. Leah is lagging all over the gaff, if I have to say so myself. Yeah, He's I'm... now two seconds clear. Well, thankfully, because Leah's so far might be much of a problem but I've, I've, I've invited Jackson Dog three times hopefully he, he knows what to do he goes into the pits he isn't I've, I've done all I can but he's, he's, he's very somehow Leah's set a 1 minute 40 at the lap 1 it's somehow lap 3 <laughs> according to this game what is going on <laughs> Teddy gets his, the first penalty of the day oh Joe what is going oh, on I don't know Oh my, okay. We'll try and stick with it. I think everyone's crossed sector one, so the timing has sorted itself. There are a lot of gaps forming already within the top five. It's already separation, you see. But Sem's already up into 11th. Phenomenal start from the Haas driver. A little lock up into turn. I think eight of that. Oh, not quite sure. He's making good progress, especially, and he's on those medi medium tyres as well. So if he can keep up showing this, well, I know it's only two seen. If he can keep up showing this good pace, then he's going to be looking very tasty towards the end of the Grand Prix. Oh, uh, as Jackson Dog goes, I know. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, he's. I've, I've done all I can. <sighs> yeah, I've, I know you have. So hopefully, Sometimes the other drivers behind. Yeah. Rockman's down, I think, down six. Yeah, he's down six, and so is Morgan's down four. Unfortunate start for them. Neelix down to five places. He must have span. We are setting a 38. 38? Blood, yeah. Another one worth, worth mentioning after a good start. I Callum making up four places. He always tends to find, um, after lap one, he's made about four, five, six places. So, uh, yeah. He's certainly got the skill for the first lap of the race anyway. It's um, the rest of it where it can be a bit of a problem. But fingers crossed, he can end with a high, especially for the racing point. We're all behind you, I Callum. As I think Benz is slowly catching up to Leah here. You've got DRS wide open now. Owen's going to be looking for that third place. Barlow's going to have to do well to hold him off. He's going to make it okay into this at the end of this straight but the next one's going to be the real danger zone he's only going to put all of his eggs in this basket and go for the move oh, oh god oh god oh just oh, this big crash big crash Alpha Tauri there is Rockamad round Rockamad all the way around oh, he got a wing plate off uh, a wing plate oh, yeah. end plate off yeah oh the end of that, I saw there was a big gap just happening. I think Morgan has been involved as well, actually. Uh, he's just got a penalty. No, he's, he looks like he's clean with damage, but he was 
Well, I just saw drivers dropping and gaining. Yeah, As Sem's it's... already into the points. It's just that free. Not much movement from the top seven, which I kind of predicted-ish. But I've still gone for the outlandish podium. As Eichelheim's made up five positions into eighth place now. Just needs to hold off Original now. Original's right on the back of him now. Oh, sorry. No, no, he's not. Panther's around the back of him right now. <laughs> Original's right on the back of Legend. Because he's in the pits, whether he was involved as well. You've got both Alpha Tori drivers Oh, in oh the a pit. double stack. Double stack could have happened. It's been... Original was eager to get past Legend here. I think this move's going to be pretty sorted because of Original's ERS levels. Yep, that's let Original up to sixth place. As Panther's going to probably send one here on, on Callum. He does, causing Callum to be a bit off put. A bit of a, a not optimal line coming out the exit of the, the, the chicane there. As Panther's going to attempt number two or trying to take Callum. He's absolutely rinsing his ERS. He's going to try and go around the outside now. No contact made. It's a beautiful move from Panther, and he's up into eighth position. As, but as well, we were looking at that. Zach got past Owen. And now Sam is... Oh, God, Callum's going to fight back. He's going to go down the inside into turn 17. It's a brilliant move from Callum. A nice reply. As Sam's now going to be eyeing up 8th and 9th. He's going to be wanting to get past these as fast as possible if he's going to make up some time on the medium tyres. As Teddy's in the pits, I wonder why. I think uh, if, he just, if he's on the soft, soft tyres, um, it's, it's normally around now you would start to see some Jarvis pit and chuck on the first of their two medium runs. Uh, I'll just... I don't know if you're on board with him. Yep, or not he's just on some see. mediums. Oh, he's having a wing change as well. Ah, uh, that's probably why I had some wing damage then. Must have had some wing damage. As Benz is now right on the back of Leah. He's got plenty of ERS, but I think he's going to save that and go for Leah when it's most appropriate to make that easier overtake. Which, you never know, based off his exit of this corner here, could be now. It's a brilliant exit. I don't think it'll be enough. I think uh, if you've got a As in this position there, you've got to be a bit patient. He's got that three second gap to the driver behind, so he doesn't have to rush anything. Uh, he has got the pace on Lear at this stage of the Grand Prix. Anyway, this is, this is a yellow oh, flag. Oh, it's a, it's a Williams round. It's Allen. Yeah, oh, he's going to have to wait. Oh, your virtual safety car. He's going to have to wait for everyone to get by, which he does. Fair play to Allen there. Virtual safety car. Everyone has to slow down now. That will allow some of the low ERS runners to gain some ERS. I'd say 20, 30% keep their fight in, the, in for their position going. Morgan's already running very low in 11th position. Sam's running very low at the moment. As we take a little breather from the first five laps, uh, a lot of movement in the midfield. Not a lot of movement at the top. Which is no surprise from Abu Dhabi, if I'm all, if I'm all honest. Got a driver taking advantage. Got Owen in the pit as the virtual safety car ends. Oh, and Morgan gets a drive through for speeding. He's going to have to serve that now. As he actually, he chooses not to. Fair enough. Oh, there's a crash! Owen's in the pit. Where, where, where? He's in the pit. Panther's in the, rounded. Yeah. Oh. He oh, no. It's unfortunate. I think he throttled it too much in the exit of turn one. Oh, that's a lot of damage on no, his wing. His temps are going to be through the roof. Is he going to make it? He's going to make an outside move. Although it, it's much easier than it looked. It did look very spectacular, that move, Neelix. Good on you, mate. As Look at that. So many losers and so many winners. Now Zach's just behind Barlow. Original makes another move on Leonard again. Oh, lovely clean race at the moment from them two. Sem's up nine positions into seventh now. I mean, he's just laughing at the moment, isn't he? He's just loving life. As he's Rando's up nine positions into ninth. There's a man absolutely brewing on confidence. He's got nothing to worry about. He's secured second in the championship. 
he is doing incredibly well so far and it's only six laps in just to say jackson dog retired I, I did send him a message well saying in the end is you need to retire the connection's poor and Gaz has done that so hopefully we won't have any more connection problems with any more drivers as ben's is within three tenths of mrc learside brad ah uh, yes he is now he's got 82 percent ers ben's confidence is through the roof at the moment lee is struggling this looks like it will be a move for the lead come up to the drs zone as Benz is just going to keep behind. No, not wasting the ERS trying to get past him here. Take the chicane nice and comfortable. Make sure he gets a perfect deck off the hairpin. Beautiful. He's going to do it. Lovely, nice. Sorted. And this should be the move. Initiating. Why isn't he using his ERS? I'll never know. Oh, I Maybe think it's... Just... Sorry, I think it might be because of what you mentioned there. So you've got another DR straight afterwards. Maybe he's being smart about this. He is being smart about this. Well done. Oh, Ben's a little bit of a spin. Snap of oversteer. That's his chance gone. He's probably after. Yeah, there you go. Saw it. He's just used some of it to stay behind. He might That's have moved beast. third. Yep. Is he going to send it late? Oh, virtual safety car because Alan's retired. He's binned it at the exit of turn one again. Is there a bit of oil, a bit of oil on that track? It's a bit slippy at the exit of turn one, apparently. Oh, sure. For a lot of drivers, it could have... Well, it, poor timing, because there's no drivers around the pits. It would have been a great opportunity for some drivers to take advantage of this. And unfortunately, there's it none near... how long that virtual safety car will last, because you have people like Leah and Benz closing towards the pits. I don't know. Mm, yeah. Alan's been cleared now. The car's been... Cleared. As Leah is going to risk it and go up into the pits, as is Benz. I think as is Barlow. No, Bar Barlow's going to be not not risking it. Interesting. So Barlow takes the provisional lead of the race. Oh, to be fair, this, the safety car's been a bit of a blessing for the front two runners. I think I think Ben's got held up a bit there. I think he might have. Yeah, he's lost a lot of time. He's lost a mega amount of time. That's like oh, three, no. four seconds. Oh, is he gonna? He is he just gonna has to stay. It has to stay ahead of Hicklin here, and he does. Ah, uh, it's it's. He's got he's the pace. Back to square one for Ben's now. He's, he's back got to the, square one. He's got the pace. He just needs to keep composed and give it a few laps. Maybe about five or six. It'll get back onto the back of Leah. He's got what it takes. We've seen the pace already. Definitely. As Rando's picked up a penalty. Sem's into third. Obviously, people have pit, but still, mega stuff from Sem so far. And he's running low on that ERS. Original. He's right on the back of Sem. Approaching with some speed, but he's not going to go for the move. But Zach, by the way, we've <laughs> missed this. I apologise. Zach's made a move for the lead. So the, the, the grid's in all of a bit of a mix-up at the moment. We're just keeping an eye on one driver who, who pitted under the first virtual safety car. It's Owen, uh, currently in 11th place. He's only about seconds away from Cooper Benz. Uh, he was stuck behind Barlow and Zach is beating on the pit. Uh, if he can get past Hickley very soon, it was on the hard tyres. They must be feeling awful. He might be in a good position here after everyone's pit for the first time. Yep, Hickland's still on the seven-lap old hards, to be fair. I don't think he has any plans on pitting anytime soon, of course. As Barlow, I think, spat. No, he's into the pits. Oh, God, yep. give me a heart attack. Forgot about the pit symbol. <laughs> so Barlow's going to try and get that undercut on Beast here. Zach is Beast, that is. Benz has made a move on I kind of... Where's Leah? He's 3.4 seconds oh. ahead of Benz. I, I can just cut the chicane. I think he might have had a moment there. Yeah, he had a five-second penalty for quarter cutting. Maybe had a bit of oversteer or a lock-up. Oh, he's got damage. He's lost his right front end plate. I think he, uh, I think he spun it somewhere. I think he's the. Oh, he's got damage. Ooh, that's a bit of a shame. 
Should, that's, that's going to damper his race. As it's currently a Haas 1-2, as Freeman said, which is interesting to note. As Morgan's Owen. going to make the move on Neelix, makes it pretty comfortably as Owen makes the move on Hicklin, like you're about to say. Sorry for cutting you off. As Icallum's really slow right now. Oh. Owen's going to try and get past him early doors, which he does. Callum is struggling. I think he's going to let everyone by. He is. I don't know if that's if that's him giving up. It does look like it. Lee is now going to be behind Rando, a tough person to overtake. That's going to allow Benz to catch up a bit more as he's caught up about seven tenths now. Benz is chipping away at that lead, net lead that is. As, ben, as Zach is still on the softs, fair play to him. We know Zach at least likes to take care of his tyres. We've seen a lot of times this season. He can take tyres a lot longer in races than anyone else in Division 2. What he does then tyres, I don't know. Maybe he has been learning a lot from the aliens from Elite. He might be going for the one stop, especially after seeing what S. Laguna did yesterday. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, maybe taking inspiration. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> And yeah, right, uh, Cooper Benz is closing down that gap. It's not going to be easy for Leo, though. He's got his teammate, Original, and Rando in front. He was still on the medium tyres. As Kai Kimes going to be slapping on the hearts, trying to go to the end after the wing change, as Leo's going to be trying to get past Rando now. It's not going to be an easy task. Leo's going to be burning his ERS to get past Rando, as Rando's on 3% ERS. Sam gets his first penalty of the day. Original's kind of stuck behind his teammate. He's going to have to try and let his oh, teammate oh, by as his oh, teammates no. collide. Ooh, that was a close call for Original. He could have been shunted into the wall by his teammate, Leah. But nonetheless, Leah's has made the move in whatever fashion he likes to take. That separates Benz and Leah by a couple cars. That could help Leah's case. It's only one way to, uh, as Zach is into win. the pits. Original is into the pits. Now Benz has to get past Rando. As I climb, gets a 10 second time penalty for Corner K. Yeah, he's just straight lined the chicane. You've got a 10 uh, second I think penalty? that. I can't be straight lined at the chicane in 62. It looked like to me. So, that's probably going to be seeing him being retired. As Rando is behind Leah, I don't think that's. Gonna be a real move on. Barlow behind Owen. So Owen's undercut still did work, despite being three laps premature. He does. Yeah, Barlow's gonna be using a ring though to what at least get go. close. But speaking of getting close, Zach's gonna be making the move on Hicklin. Up in seventh position now, Zach. Which I do believe is net P5. Here they go. I come into the pits and retiring. Unfortunate run of luck for Callum's end of season. That's going to be his season finished. Oh, there's a move. Uh, bit for tech place. Teddy's made the move, the move on Neelix, and it was like Legends is going to make the move on Neelix as well. Oh, he's done it. Neelix is maybe struggling. Yeah, he might be. I don't know if he. I don't think he has he pit yet. I'm not too sure. But Legends uh, saw the door wide Neelix open. has not pit no. Oh, that explains that. Well, two places lost in a space of two corners for Neelix, but that is the tyres for you. They won't be feeling good at all. Yeah, and if you're thinking it won't feel good for Neelix, I wonder what it'd be feeling for Rando and Sem. As you have Benz, I think catching Rando slightly. Beautiful S section there. That could be making within DRS of Rando as it stands. Just needs to make. Oh, here we go. Is he within? Oh, he's not. He's not going to be within DRS. But Barlow's going to be eyeing up that pos that fifth position for Owen on the much fresher tyres. Interesting, yeah, Ben. Nice, comfortable for Barlow. You say? I was going to say, his interest, I'm just on board with Benz. He's not using any errors to chase down Rando, so he knows he's got the tyre advantage and he's just going to save some errors. 
uh, uh, during this period of the race uh, and save them, I presume, for a late charge. Hopefully, uh, the race goes on. I think we've seen a move further down. Yeah, Teddy, he's making the move on SLR Morgan. Morgan fights back, or is it more? Oh, his contact. I think maybe actually it's Morgan trying to overtake Teddy. Uh, it's not over, though. It's not over as Teddy gets a three second time penalty somehow. Oh my word, what's happening here? Oh, he's got his massive! Oh, his contact! Oh, Legend. my word. Oh, no! Oh, and a, and a Williams this round. Oh, yeah. and it's a massive collision. Oh, no. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, there was three... That was a big collision. That was chain reaction now, I think. Yeah, behind Teddy, there was three pretty much side by side, and they squeezed, and Legends... I think he might have been caught in the middle of that, and he was facing backwards. I, oh, just, oh, what's going on here with Dorsey? What's... Um, Dorsey's slowing down. Has uh, Dorsey got a broken wing as well? Maybe. I don't know if that was just him showing his frustrations to Legend. Yeah, he's lost his end plate as well as Dorsey. The original's going to make a round. Bennett's going to be right behind the original here. Bennett has been the, kind of the quiet sailor of the top three. Still in 12. He's been struggling to get those tyres lit enough to get a round the back the uh, midfield uh, as Dorsey's retired from the session Neelix is in for softs looking like a medium soft soft for Neelix then Buttons again just losing out on a bit of traction but I think he's going to get the move done on Rando I don't expect Seb to defend this because they're both in different races but having said that Seb still side by side and I think he just lets Ben through which is a Wise choice there, Orando, because again, different races, Ben's only two and a half seconds off Leah, who Leah hasn't actually caught up Sem yet, which is a bit interesting, considering the tyres. So Sem is doing a cracking job, it looks like, on this set of tyres for the start of the race. And he's on lap 13, so will we see him do two soft stints, or will we see him do another medium, then uh, a really quick soft stint, Will? What do you think? I think Sem's going to be doing medium soft, as well as Rando and Bennett, uh, which you think is the optimum strategy but as it stands the traffic is going to hold up Sem big time despite his clear tyre advantage towards the end of the race I think if there's a DRS train going on I don't think he has much hope getting through that midfield as you speak of that speak of the devil Leah is now going to be within a second of Sem just about He's a bit further back as well. Zach's beast is right on the back of Owen. Within a tenth. Going into this again. Is he going to make a move? No, he doesn't. I think he's going to wait for the DRS straights. Benz is finally burning the ERS that he's been saving up. It's a, it's a bit harsh on. Harsh words from Dawsey in the chat there. Oh. Connor says, wish we had extra replays. I completely agree with you, Connor. Oh, massively. It would be perfect to have a little like, box in the corner to show what actually happened. As Benz is caught up about a 1.3... Uh, oh, gosh, no, one, about a second even though he was fighting through traffic to catch up to Leah, is definitely unfolding to be an interesting race because Leah's now got a penalty, Benz doesn't. So as it stands, Benz is technically ahead of Leah if we cross the line now. As Leah is going to be held up major by Sem here because Sem knows how to defend. And it doesn't look like the tyres are proving that much of an issue. Sam could do Benz a few favours here, um, just to go a bit further back. Teddy got past Morgan in the end uh, to move up to 8th place. So he's got about a 10 second gap now to Owen. He's got a big job on his hands unless a safety car comes out. I was just looking on board with Leo going around sector 1. He had quite a bit of oversteer, so I'd be... Well, surely not those tyres. I'd be feeling bad already, considering that Sam has not pit at all yet, as it looks like we're about to see Leo make a move. Yeah, he's going to rinse his ERS to try and get past Sem here. Sem's going to be like, okay, well, fair enough, lad, but I'm going to come back right, right back at you into the second straight because you have zero ERS, my son. So good luck defending this, unless Sem gets a bad exit, which he did. 
I don't think that'll matter though. Sim's going to burn his ERS to try and make that move back just to throw off Leah because I know he wants that win off Leah. And he locks up big time. He's still going to make the move stick, I think. Oh, and there we go. That's Sim back into the lead. Good move. Do you know what? That is just going to help up Ben's a bunch. Now he's 1.4 seconds behind. 1.3. It's going to be a bit of a tasty battle for the lead now. Massively. I'm, you know what? I'm really surprised by Sim with that. I am partly thinks he might think about doing a one-stop, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think he will do a medium-soft. Oh, will wait until that lap yeah. 18, I reckon. Because that's what he said to me before race. He said he, in the medium-soft's the best, and he's going to try and make that work. Unless an early safety car, which... If, if, there's, if there's a safety car now, it would be kind of a miracle for Sim. Leah's eager to get past him. Look at this. Yes, he's, he's right on the back of him. He could be one very frustrated driver. It's now where it's going to be absolutely critical. Your focus is 100% there. Because you've got, obviously, to attack the driver in front, and then you've got threat behind. Here we go. Now, Benz, he's got plenty of ERS. Leah, not so much. Sam, yes, he does. He does have quite a bit. Benz is going to be licking his chops to try and get this move done. As Leah's going to go for another move on Sam. Benz isn't even going to try and get a move on. A yellow flag in sector one and sector two. As I think that's SLR Morgan. I think had a bit of a bit of a moment, a bit of snap of oversteer maybe. Sam's going to go for it again. I think the madman. Nah, he's too far back. Ah, uh, good to be patient though. Like Ben's, what Ben's is doing right now, absolutely amazing stuff from Ben's at the moment. Well, saying I saw in the Perfect. sorry, I was saying, on the Discord earlier on this week that Ben's won his first ever league race for another league earlier on. I'm not going to say anything. I'm touching wood here. No, 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 no. You've done it now, haven't you? No, Come I'm, on. Uh, I'm touching my that. desk. Enough I'm... of that. <laughs> don't want to, don't want to give it. Out. Don't want to jinx it. I hold my breath. Like the whole of CP are doing right now as Ben goes a bit wide. Doesn't get the warning though, I don't think. As soon as Sim breaks away from that DRS for Leah, it, the, the battle for the lead is well and truly on. we only got 11 laps to go now. Good exit from Benz. That's us doing that. We're gonna try and pay attention to a bit of the, the back runners. Original iron up Teddy. Morgan's coming to the pits and retired. That's racing point season finished. In div two at least. Oh beautiful exit from original compared to Teddy. That's going to be an easy move up to 8th position for the Mercedes driver. As Benz has actually made the move on Sam. Yeah. Which yeah. means... When and truly on. Here's one for you. Like, nice uh, from Liam. Can I just say... Yeah, I just your voice that. sounds amazing. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, Liam. I appreciate that, mate. <laughs> um, the, the battle for the lead is well and truly on now. As Benz is still being a bit patient with his ERS. Not as patient as he was. Oh, that's a bit wide. I think I think Benz needs to really relax now. He needs to deep breaths. Okay. Okay, Lee's, Lee's got the penalty. He already knows that. I, he already knows that Lee's got the penalty. He just needs to keep it calm. Keep, keeps in his DRS. Doesn't even really need to make the move. As Sem and Randa are both in the pits now. Going on to that soft tyre. I think uh, base from Sam and Rando pit in there. I think if you're Benz and Leah, you have to react to that now. Unless they plan on staying on them medium tyres to the end of the Grand Prix. Which, again, we saw yesterday it can happen. But I think they pit uh, quite a bit before lap 10. I haven't got the, uh, the lap count on my screen. But uh, Benz um, looks like he's going to set up a move there. Leah and Benz pit nine laps ago. So, I don't know. 
Oh, it's a bit of a shame if they both have to pit for another pair of softs because that is going to line up perfectly for Ooh. Sam and Rando. Go on. Oh, well, hello, I'm, hello, I'm hello, just on with Ben's. He, 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 was, he was miles quicker than Leah, and he would have got the move done because he had a mid speed on him, but they're both slowing each other down. That's you know what you're doing. You're, you're putting it on the plate for Sam here. Yeah, you need to stop slowing each other up. Yeah, so say Ben's had the chance there to overtake Leah, but none of them wanted to go into that corner first. I don't know what's going on there, if I'm honest. But I think if, if, if they are going to and it's going to be this lap, I think they're going to be behind Sam. Well, let's, let's find out the interval oh to leader. Sam is 19 seconds behind Leah. Leah's into the pits. Ben's reacts to that and doesn't go into the pits. He almost this spun gonna it. It's going to be interesting. Well. Does does Sem come out ahead of Leah? I'm pretty sure he does. Yep. Yep, I think he will. I think Zach he will. comes out. Zach's, to be fair, Zach's a bit of a, a sleeping giant right now because Zach's probably going to take them, them ties to the end. And he's sitting in a, a pretty comfortable third position. 13 seconds clear at fourth. Yep, there we go. Sem's ahead of Leah. Miles. Oh, well, there's a spinner. It's original. Oh, no. Original, the first Is corner. It? Yeah, he's... I think he's got any damage, but oh, he's lost it dear. on traction, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's, what is with turn one today? Oh, he's lost it again. He's going into the wall. Oh, oh. I caught that perfectly. That was a... Uh, that made me jump there. Oh, no. Oh. Virtual safety car. That's going to help Ben's major. Oh, no. He's not Depends where it is. He's too far away. Uh, I mean, it, it could help Ben's major if he somehow makes these tyres last. I mean, he should. L look at that. He's he, What is he? 16 seconds. 16 seconds behind... Or 18 seconds behind Sam. Ahead of Sam, sorry. If he keeps them tyres last for nine more laps, Sam has to catch him two seconds a lap. I don't think that's happening. Is that including the penalty though as well? I think no, that's not including the penalty. That's just that's just for Sam to catch up, up catch up to him and get in his DRS. Ben shouldn't be pitting, and he does. He does. I don't know. I don't know how bad his tyres are. If, if his tyres are awful, then fair enough. I think he's he's, he's going to come out behind Lear as well because he, his rear his rear was gone. He was struggling. He should have pit the same time as Lear. Oh, I don't. I don't. Um... I don't know if he should pit. Should have pit. Ah, oh, he's gonna be. Quite I don't know a bit the tire wear, so I don't know. I mean, the, the tire wear percentages ain't too bad, but the the feel of the tire that it it just goes, it just within a click of the fingers, it falls off the cliff as they call it in Formula One, and yet he's even behind Rando as well. But I... Zach's good, currently in the lead. He's gonna be probably taking these tires to the end. I can't believe we might just see this again, but S. Sam is in an absolute incredible position right now. He's in third. He's got the softer tyre. He's side by side with Owen as well. I think he's pretty much done that move unless Owen decides to fight back in the second phase on the second straight in the DRS. But it's looking so good for Sam again at the moment. Dare I say, if he can equal that record, and if he does, what a way to do it. Oh, is it? I don't know if you. I don't know if you are there or not. Uh, Zydra, but there's a re another retirement. Rocker Mad, he's locked oh, up the penultimate corner. Oh, my mic's been on mute. Goodness oh. gracious. Yeah, <sighs> goodness gracious me. Um, Rocker Mad has smashed into the pits, and that's a safety car. Ooh. Now where does the car? Owen has just pit at the most perfect time right now. Well, I don't know because. Some of the drivers have already gone past the safety car because of the timing. So if you're Zach is B, Sam, well, if you're Sam anyway, you're in a perfect position anyway because you don't need to get your fresh softs. Uh, same as Leah. Same yeah, but as if, you, if you're Zach, you're even more in prime position right now. 
because if you wanted to make those me these mediums last, this is just a gift send for you, a godsend for you. Well, it looks like we are going to have that finale we've been waiting for in Division 2. The championships really have been decided, but it's Division 2. It has been a fantastic race, and we've still got seven laps to go, and the safety car is out. Ooh. Bit of a breather, the safety car. It's looking more and more likely that Sem will take the win. Just based off the tyre difference. Sure is. Um, we tried to ignore the fact of penalties, but Sem, Leo, Rando, they've all got something to their name. If the car is out at this stage of the race, this is it's, it, it, it does make a difference. I mean, if the penalties are... Oh, Pazak's in the pits. Interesting choice. But I can understand why he's made the choice. Benz has got no penalties still. If That's Rando's weird. got more than three, if Leah's got more than three, and if Sem's got more than three... Could be still seeing a Ben's possibility here. I'm trying to think, is there any drivers who have missed out during that period? Well, we know there's a few drivers that have gained. Uh, two of them are in the top three. Um, if Slot Teddy is in the pits again, he's making his third stop, or shall I say he's actually trying to leave the pits now? He's currently in eighth place. Um, quite surprising to still see Bennett all the way down in 10th, who's just gone into the pits again, I presume to put on the soft tyres, same as everyone else. Of course, that fresh set is there because we had a lobby restart. Uh, we're going to see a crazy end to the race, I dread. I cannot wait. Panthers currently on a four stop. <laughs> uh, the aggressive four stop's not really working out too much in his favour. Uh, we'll do position change. Obviously, Sam and Rando both up 15. Bennett only fifth, you know. Bennett's had a bit of a bit of a lackluster show so far, which is a bit unfortunate. It's going to take a while for these the, the the pack to get bunched up. Because Panthers just about to finish sector one, where safety cars towards the end of sector three now. I guess Hicklin it gets a penalty during the safety car. Hicklin does. Everyone's on softs now. Hicklin got a penalty under the safety car. Yeah. So, Adrad, so obviously they're all grouping up together now. What, what do you reckon you're going to see towards the end of the race? Uh, if, if you had to pick a winner now, pick a top three, what do you expect it to be in this current situation? I reckon. Yeah, you look. I reckon you. I reckon. I'm going to go on a limb here and say Sem for the win, Ben's still second. And then Zach third. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> Let's have a look. Just because of penalties, I think. Yep. She's, yeah, it's going to play its part, especially in a track like Abu Dhabi. So many corners that you can easily cut. Uh, let's have a look in the stream chat. Uh, SLR Darnell. I would sound shocked that Semi's going to win despite start at the back. But when you're talking about an elite driver in Division 2, it's less impressive. Um. Bit of a, I guess it's a compliment uh, there. <laughs> Does he mean elite drivers in terms of, like, he's good, or elite drivers in terms of he's elite pace? I'm going to say that he's good, I think. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with the first statement. Yeah. Um, Midzi, out, uh, out of all the languages you chose to speak, SLR Darnell, uh, Beast, uh, hashtag Sem, not my driver of the day. I mean, if he wins, it's hard not to give him driver of the day, in my opinion. Uh, might have been a joke though. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else we got? Midzi, Benz needs to gobble up Rando 
on the restart, it does. It, it is actually all going to be down to the restart, especially if you are Benz. I know you've got that uh, that luxury of in touch with not having a penalty, but when you've got drivers ahead of you like Sem and Rando, you need to be sharp on that safety car restart. And the last one from Eslar Connor, if he can get past Rando on the restart, he would re he would re really still have the win in sight. Okay. I don't know if the, yeah, the safety car's going out for one more lap. Four laps for Benz to just stick within three slash six seconds of Sam. He's got a win. Pretty heroic, if you ask me. Oh, yes. If we've got another lap of the safety car. I mean, I don't know how much you've been watching Division 2 this season, Zydrad, but, um, well, sum up, really, of... Um, what you've seen from Division 2 this season? I mean, I've, been, I've commented quite a couple. Um, it's really been a, a couple of Div 1 and a couple of Div 2 I've done. Um, but Div 2 has definitely taken the crown off Div 3 for most entertaining. Maybe most possibly for the wrong reasons. <laughs> but at the end of the day, there's the top three, top four that separate from the rest and show why they deserve promotion. And... But when they go, if they go, that's definitely going to spice up the division for next season. Yeah, I agree as well. I agree completely. Um, for me, again, I put the safety cards coming this lap. Division 2 this season, it's been an absolute joy to watch. Again, like you said, said earlier, maybe for the wrong reasons with what's been going on. We've seen a bit of it this race, but... It's been the perfect starter for the doubleheader of SLR racing on a Saturday night. Of course, it ends with Division 3 of all the nights as well. Today, the championship ends there. Um, in really, Division 2 evolved from the first race. between the likes of Nicky, Cheesy, Jitto in there. And it's just got from strength to strength. Division 2 has been the, the division where the drivers in there have made the most effort trying to improve, which we have seen again today. And for the last part of the season, it's just been an absolute joy to watch. And it's been an honour to commentate on 90% of their races this season. Yeah, you've, always, you've been a stapler for a, for the commentary box in Div 2. And I've thoroughly enjoyed coming along with you. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, is he seriously going out again? No, I think it's coming in now, surely. The lights are off on the car. Yep, so it's coming in. It's going to be a kind of a chaotic finale, I reckon. Buckle yeah. up. Yeah, so fasten your seatbelts. If you're the driver, the heart is going to be raising right now. Is If you can just keep it clean in the first two laps, you could be onto something special. you on mute again, Zydrat. I can't hear you. No, no. no oh. I'm, I'm fine. Oh. But anyway. It's good. It's pretty simple. Re safety car restart from what it looks like. As we have... Oh, Sam pulling away a decent gap now. To Leah. A very good exit. Frame's gone all over the gap. Okay. Benz is going to be rinsing that ERS to try and stay and try and get gobble up Rando like Midzy said. Change the gaps to leader. Alright. Yeah, actually, we'll do that. We'll do that. Good idea. So, at the moment, the gaps stay 1.7 with three laps to go. Ben 
happens. They just need to keep it calm now. Deep breaths. Keep your keep your cool. Keep your composure. A bit of something different here. Sem isn't able to get away from Leah, so Leah has can match what Sem's got on the table, followed by Rando and Benz, although Benz is about eight tenths off Rando. He just needs to keep within three seconds. Benz, come on, buddy. Yeah, the thing is, if Leah tries to go for the win, that will, that will actually be the undoing of him because ben, that will give Benz a smaller gap to try and catch. If he had the DRS though, that's going to hurt him. I oh, know he's back within. He, as long as he's in within DRS activation zone, he needs that DRS. Yeah, obviously DRS hasn't been activated just oh, yet. Sorry. He didn't have the start of lap 27, but still, he still needs to stay within that DRS. Otherwise, that's basically him. His his race is going to be starting to tri trickle out of his fingers. Let's have a little check on ERS. ERS is looking pretty fine for everyone. Pretty similar. Oh! Oh, Owen and Teddy! Oh, this one's had to Owen and Teddy are oh, going. Oh no! Teddy's round! Oh, Teddy's been spam! Oh, there was. I think. Does Owen have damage as well? I'm just going to have a look. Uh, bit he, of chaos. He doesn't, but there was a bit of banging wheels, and of course, Teddy's facing the wrong way. Oh, oh. oh heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, but Benz is still within the three seconds. Two laps to go. And Rando kind of slowly bottling has really helped Benz get the DRS and therefore stay within that gap. And especially if Leah breaks the DRS of Rando, it's going to be even more... I mean, we're rooting for Benz just because we want some. We're, we're entertain. It's entertainment. Like it's unbelievable scenes right now. Teddy's retired from the session. Here we go. Has Rando got the DRS? Rando has not got the DRS. That's going to help a bunch. Here we go. Round the chicane. Good exit from Benz. I think he's going to try and make this move now. He has to make this move. Where's he going to go? He's going to go around the outside. He's, oh, I don't think he, I think he expected Randall to go defensive there, but he didn't. He needs to pass him. Sem's pulling away. Sem's pulling the away. The gap is 2.9. <sighs> it's teetering. Absolutely teetering. Ah, oh, it's outside for three seconds. Here we go, we're about to start the last lap of Division 1. The last lap of the season. The last lap of Division 2. Can we see some heroics into Sandovot, even though it's not Monaco? <laughs> Two tenths. Benz is a tenth away from winning. <laughs> you can feel the Benz. Oh, oh, leaving the rat. Oh, no, it's just his leg. Oh, my word. I thought he lost it for a second. 2.9. He's in it. He's got DRS. When Sam. Uh, Sam. Sam doesn't. He's going to burn all of it here. Look at that. The gap. Oh, my God. This is going to be insane. Thing is, if you're Benz, do you try and go for that position? Because if you try and overtake Rando, you can lose more time. No, don't you don't, you don't, you don't. I, 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 please, I beg you don't. Unless it's easy. Oh, the stream chat. I wish you could see what's going on in the stream chat. He's gonna. Oh, oh is he gonna my move? God. Three tenths within it. Keep it, keep it calm, Benz. <laughs> oh, Rando, he's gonna be looking a bit slow. Benz is gonna make the move in the side. I can't watch. Oh, I think Don't, he might lose a bit of time. No, no. I think he that's might lose. it. No, that's it. Oh no, 
No way. Was there a bit of team... Oh, because I know Sam, Randall and Bennett, they always like to share a party. I think that might be it, though. Oh, I don't believe it. No, that's catastrophic. Unbelievable. But would you believe it? Well, you can say it, Zydrad, because look who's going to do it again. He's done it again. Sam is the winner as Benz gets oh. second. It's still a phenomenal drive from Sam and Benz. Leah gets the final podium place. I think... Oh. What an end. I don't know. What an end. I mean, I know it's not the result we wanted, and I think the stream chat will agree, but what an end of the season. What an end of the race we've just seen. Get your driver of the day votes in, ladies and gents. Rando's dropped to seventh. Wow. I mean, I think I'd have to give it. To, uh, I'd have to give it to Sam or Benz. It's hard not to give it to Sam. It's really hard not to give it to Sam when he it's started. It's hard because yeah. yeah. Right, I'll start I mean, getting him in the party. Any any other race weekend, we get we're getting yeah we're giving him driver of the day, no doubt. So I think we're gonna have to give it to him. All right. At some point a bit later, at uh, some point after the interviews, I'll get Bennett in as well. After all, he won the championship. Uh, but I'll start getting in the drivers who finished on the rostrum. B says nice team wars between Haas and Renault, joint title rivals. I mean, yeah, that is ridiculous. Right. When we get them all in, how should we do? Should I do third and first again? Uh... Yeah, kind of. Actually, actually no, cause, uh, as Sam's your teammate has, I'll do for third and second. You can do first, actually, because uh, has to has. Oh, you do third and second, sword. Just head. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll just get Ben's in, and then we're a crack on. Uh, remember, everyone, to stay in your lobby so we can do the end of the donuts. Come on, Ben's warrior, buddy. We want to hear from you. Here we go. Alright, are they all in? There they are. Can you all please tick your boxes and then we'll get started? Yep. Any stuff? Right. Happy for me to go ahead, Zydrad? Absolutely fine, mate. You crack on. Lovely stuff. Right. Uh, we'll start off with third place, which was MRT Leah. Leah, welcome back to the podium, buddy. It feels like it's been a while. Um, you've had quite a bit of bad luck recently with updates and connection problems. But today, fortunately, you were able to end what has been, in my opinion, a fantastic season for yourself on a high. So first of all, to finish on the podium last race of the season, how does that feel? It feels damn good. Yeah, I think my last podium, I think Owen said about it was Austria. So, yeah, considering I haven't been out there for a while, it's I feel good indeed, yeah. It was a really good race. Enjoyed it. Uh, talk us a bit, uh, talk us a bit uh, through your race, because, uh, of course, you in, uh, there were some virtual safety cars and then there were some safety cars. Uh, so it didn't look too easy. It looked extremely difficult, considering even though you started from pole position, we're at the top most of the race. But, uh, yeah, just tell us a bit about your race, really. Um, yeah, the first virtual safety car came out. I thought oh, I'll stay out. I think it was like lap five. I thought it was a bit early. And the second one came out. I think it was lap seven. I thought go for it. Commit to the two stop. Um, I think it worked quite well. I thought it came out about ten seconds ahead of third place once they'd all pitted. So, and then I, when we was catching up to Sem, I just thought he's going to be pitting soon, and that's who the race is going to be with now. So. Well, as he paid for this off, so I tried to follow him in afterwards, and yeah, that safety car at the end sort of made everyone catch up to us. Right, so I think it would have been myself, Coop, Cooper, Ben, Sam, and Rando. I think four of us would have probably had a good little battle right at the end. But yeah, it's a good race. 
lovely stuff. Well, congratulations on P3. Lovely end to the season. Enjoy the time off, and I'm sure we'll see you again next season where you'll come back stronger than ever. On to second place. Uh, I'll do second as uh, Zyjab will do first. Uh, second place is Cooper Benz. Benz, I can't describe... I cannot describe how gutted everyone on stream <sighs> and about standing bias in commentary are. That was edge on the seat stuff the support for you you've got to see it to believe it so first of all i want to say how does it feel to finish p2 but to just miss out on six tenths on that win especially when you won your first league race i believe earlier on in the week what are your thoughts after well finishing p2 the way you did can you finish the season feeling incredibly happy after that or is there still that little bit that a what if I mean, no, I'm happy, to be honest, like, um, I think I would have got the win if Rando in the last sector didn't really, I mean, he hold, held me up a bit because he slipped, but I mean, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it was a fun race. We did see that. Um, it's not been the easiest season for you. Uh, um, you did break that 100 point barrier, which is an achievement itself, especially in Division 2. Um, what, what sum up your season really, Benz? Because, like I said, it's not been it's not been too difficult. It, sorry, it's not been the easiest. You've had your fair share of bad luck. Uh, you have certainly shown, especially in the past few weeks, you have got the pace, which is encouraging signs for next season. But yeah, just just tell us really sum up your season. Um, I mean, it was the first season for me on uh, in league racing. So, and um, yeah, first league. I enjoyed it, to be honest. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm happy with this second as well. I mean, Sam drove really well, I have to say. Like, from last, I, not last, but somewhere in the back, anyway. I don't know how he did that. He went through all the traffic as well, but yeah. <laughs> Incredible. And the Haas, the Haas car. <laughs> Um, my season, really, I'm, I'm, I had a bit of a bad luck, I think, well, I had a chance to win in Austria as well, I still, I'm still a bit, <laughs> you know, I disconnected and all that, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, after all, I think, you know, I'm motivated now for the next season, so, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, well, um, it's... Oh, also, sorry, like, carry on. Yeah, just want to say well done to Leah as well. <coughs> Fuck my voice. <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Coronavirus, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leah was... It was interesting because sometimes he was lagging and sometimes he was teleporting, but then sometimes it, it was completely fine. So in the start, first lap, I... I went down like two seconds from him straight away because he was like teleporting and it's put me off. But then it's it was all good, so I don't know. It was a bit weird, but it's still all good, you know. Like no 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 worries. I don't yeah. Know. Well, again, congratulations on P2. The support you've got in this uh, Twitch chat it is incredible. Really watching it. I so... can't believe it. I will watch it back. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah, you are your winner in everyone else's eyes, so congratulations. Uh, over to you, Zydrad, which I think this is going to be a good interview here. I mean, first of all, up the house. Up the Second house. Of all, uh, so, Sam, this race, obviously, you decided to start from the back uh, through, obviously, your own choice with Randall and Bennett. And I think you definitely uh, got, got, got the job done easily, uh, easier than you probably would have thought. But... Not only did you secure the joint constructors for Haas, you and Zach, well done to you both, but you also, I think, broke the record for the most wins in a row in SLR history, which is, what's your, what's your opinion on that? Uh, well, uh, I guess, like, I'll start I'll start with that, save the more important bit of the joint constructors till till last. Um, well, uh, yeah, it's equaled with, I think, someone said Jam had five last season in a row. But yeah, um, the race, like, start, um, starting from the back, we, we just thought, we just thought, oh, we've... We've had a we've had uh, we had fun fun season in Div One. Um, we didn't really have 
too much to play for, so he thought, oh, just for the fun, just for the fun of it, why not just see, just see how we do, starting from the back. And well, I mean, I knew that my strategy would potentially put me in a reasonably good position, but uh, uh, because uh, just just because of the way that the shoe stop works out and in Abu Dhabi, but to win the race, uh, wow. Um, it was. I drove out of my skin for the last three laps of, the, of that race after the safety car. After the safety car ca came in, um, I I knew that I knew that. Uh, yeah, I had three seconds of pens. I knew that Benz and Zach didn't have any, and I was just um, trying to keep one eye on the road, one eye on that gap in the top left, and I could see it going between two point five and three for like the last two laps of the race, and I had and I had. Um, I had um, uh, one older tires than the guys behind me, but I was just I was just sending it into every corner. Nearly lost it once, um, just trying to just driving driving absolutely out of my skin to try and get that three second gap, and then to and then to get it and win the race. I mean, from the back from the back of the grid, but just wow, that a uh, really 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 happy. It's a perfect way to end off the season. And then when I just worked out at the end, like we needed something like 20, 27 points over. Over Renault, and and I looked and we got it because Zach finished P4. Great drive from him as well, being being able to not get any penalties and well, he was a second off the win and four tenths off second place. So I know he's so I know he's gutted, but a fantastic drive from him as well. But yeah, I'm just absolutely buzzing with the win. And when I started this season, I, I first um, first ever season of league racing, couldn't complete a. F couldn't complete a full 50% race without getting any penalties or having to use loads of flashbacks. Couldn't complete a race on strict without getting disqualified. And just this season, well, I kind of just treated it like, right, this is going to be a learning process. But to have eight wins this season is beyond my wildest expectations. Just, I've been getting quicker week, week on, week out. Just um, obviously Bennett, Rando, uh, Barlow. We've been egging each other on just throughout the entire season. The Hass boys trying to get the joint constructors. And yeah. It's the league's really changed me as a person, and yeah, it's been a fan, it's been a fantastic experience. And does well on a terrible year for everyone in the world. Just it's nice for me to have this one, this one nice thing that's going on. So yeah, bit of a ramble there, but yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I think Standard. it's pretty safe to say we'll see you in D one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, joined by of course the champion himself. Uh, and possibly Rando, most likely Rando. How do you think you'll fare up in Div One? Uh, well, I mean, it's hard to say really. Div One next season. Well, everyone's been banging on about it, and we've seen from the practice races that we've done this week, the test races for Div One next season. It is ridiculously close. It's half a second separates nearly the entire field. It's, it's, and I, and I do have a knack for bottling my quality laps, so. It might it might be a struggle, it might it might be good. It could it could it could go either way. Obviously I'm on a high with my five wins at the end of this season, so I mean the the goal the goal is always you've got to aim for the highest, you've got to aim for the championship, but probably quite an unrealistic unrealistic goal. I just wanna I just wanna be making sure I try and get points in most of the races. To be honest, just just um I'm just looking forward to the experience racing with just just race, racing up there. I know a good good amount of people in Div One. Of course, Bennett and Rando moving up with me. It's yeah. It's um, ex expectations. Expectations. I'd say just to score a good amount of points, maybe grab a win or a podium here or there. But yeah, it's hard to say really. Yeah, but nonetheless, it's been a great great season, great week for Haas. Yep. And for many other drivers in the season, I think it's time for reflection, time to have a couple weeks break, time to deep breaths and prepare for the next season over the over the Christmas holidays. Yep, and as uh, for the joint I'm constructors, mistaken. you're gone. Yeah, as for the joint constructors, I I thought I just um, I kind of well well obviously need to go through every need to go through everyone in Haas because and just um, obviously um, you you and you and you and Elite just. Um, being brilliant avenue on the team. Obviously, we 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 speak to another recent amount after um, outside racing with all the among us GTA and stuff, and it's been and it's been great to have you as a teammate this year. Like just the pace that you have on the pad is 
Well, it's 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 really like it's motivating to me to try and improve my pace to at least get somewhat close, somewhat close to you. Of course, of course, Freeman. Obviously, there's there's uh, Freeman. He's um, he put, puts a lot of work in, like the whole track tra tra guys. Like I, I, I he kind of just put himself almost as team leader, I, I guess. But like he's his passion and desire to win the constructors championship this season has been second to none. Um, Lewis O'D and Bland Siamang in, in Div One. Obviously, they have not had the races that they want, but their passion and their desire and their willingness to try ridiculously hard every single race is really admirable. Um, of course. Kevin GT, I know he's not raced in a, for a while, but um, his his wins near the beginning of the season have certainly been have certainly contributed a lot. And then as for Div Two, we sealed the Div Two constructors as well. Zach is beast, my teammate. Um, yeah, he's been he's he's been a really good, he's been a really good teammate. Obviously, getting a couple of wins this year himself. I'll never forget Canada. And then Colden and Cal Smith in Division Three. I race engineer them most weekends, and they're a sound couple of lads. They're um, got a lot of pace, both of them, and yeah, just up the hass, I guess. I, I deliberately make this. I think the last possible. thing I needed was an ego boost, Sem, but you know, we'll take it. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, as we uh, load into the donut lobby to conclude <laughs> the season, I think it's a real time for reflection because we've had v many, many opportunities for. Other other people to have their chance at a race win or a, or a first podium, and I think they may be disappointed with themselves. But at the end of the day, I think it's time to kind of take Why the season, the <laughs> grab it by the by the horns, oh. and <laughs> oh dear, select it by the horns and take take a breather and come back next season even stronger. I think definitely Benz, Leah, all them lot will definitely come back stronger than ever. To provide an even better season of Div 2 racing. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, sorry to take over a bit of sidetrack, but we had earlier Bennett join the party. Uh, of course, this season's Division 2, Division 2 Season 5 champion. So let's have a word with him, shall we? Uh, Bennett, uh, for a fantastic, amazing season you've had. Unfortunately, it's not ended the way you would have liked. Um, I, because of what you messaged just just because of what you messaged just now i don't think i should ask about uh the race because obviously it wasn't uh, a true reflection of how your season went so why don't we just talk about well your season really i mean how have you felt about, how have you felt oh that's rando's been disqualified and <laughs> <Sorry>. uh, <laughs> um, um should we just restart the lobby <laughs> what, a, no, what, what a championship no, what a season it's been for you bennett um, first of all, how are you feeling ahead of driving in Division 1 next season? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously today, I'll just quickly get out of the way because I might as well. Uh, I think everything that could have gone wrong went one. I had to uh, avoid a spinner at the start and I had to break. I think I lost about six seconds. Everyone went past me. Seb went past me or Rando went past me and that. And then obviously at the uh, VSC, I got a drive through and it was my own fault. But yeah, I got the drive through, came out and I was like, 20 seconds behind or something so that was bad but overall the season i can't really complain i had a you know like i said i've had a brilliant time enjoyed it and done what i needed to do when i needed to and got the consistency <laughs> right and all of that but yeah i think next season will be interesting because like i said the difference in division is ridiculous like we saw in the test that we did the last two days or whenever Wednesday and today they were interesting so I am looking forward to it but I think I need to put some more time into it and uh, practice a bit more and hopefully can get right and then hopefully get some wins and obviously the target is to battle for the title again and hopefully I can challenge see how the first few races go I don't know if you've got a question for Ben uh, Zodrev, uh, champion to champion, of course. <laughs> I mean, I, I think there's not much really to add. It's just been a, it's been a superb season. You've had to keep your cool, keep your composure, and like we were saying earlier in the season, attendance has really paid off. Like even if you don't have a great race like this week, you still pull it, pull through with solid, like places, like you wins, second places, third places, podiums galore. Really, has really helped you secure the title really early on. Yeah, definitely. 
I mean, I, I've, I must say a big thanks to everyone at SLR because I have bloody enjoyed it. That's for sure. But I think we, we sh I think we should end it on the donuts as uh, that happening right now. The only thing I will say actually before we sign off, um, Division Two, all of you Division Two drivers, what a show you put on this season from start to finish. It's been an absolute honour commentating on you all. It's been fantastic seeing the progress each and one of you have made. Uh, yeah, just thank you for making my comms experience this season absolutely amazing. But yeah, anyway, I think that'll be all from no worries. from me. It'll be all from Southerners. For the last time, we say goodbye to...